Hey you guys, Libra here. So sorry for the late upload here today, but I just had to watch a lot of showcases, man, a lot of videos, exchange words with other people and opinions to form my own opinion about this unit to present it to you guys today because I know a lot of the community right now is conflicted on whether they should summon on Goku or they shouldn't summon on Goku and if his banner is worth overall. I'm gonna give you my opinion on that today. This is obviously gonna be my personal opinion. And uh, you know, if you don't agree, don't be mean in the comments or anything like that. You know, I'm here to provide accurate information and help you guys manage your crystals properly in case you don't really know what to do. Anyway, you guys, here we are with uh, a revival Super Saiyan Blue Goku actually into UI. A really surprising release overall. I feel like this unit, uh, I don't know if we needed at this time something like that for Universe Rap. It's uh, a little bit of a weird release, not in a bad way at all, but um, this guy and the thing with Goku right now is that he doesn't actually offer anything new to the table. Like, he doesn't offer new abilities that will help boost the overall uh, damage or value of the team to a higher extent. Or even defensive wise, even though he's a revival unit, he doesn't really have ways to stop combos. He doesn't have key reduction implemented in his kit. Um, as a unit, he's a little bit squishy. Um, he can do damage though. That's practically the main focus of his game. He's just damage overall. Um, I feel like the developers kind of, you know, saw how revival units were in the past, and they figured they shouldn't give him a lot of defensive mechanics. Just so he has a revival, he has the unique gates, he can dash attacks and all that. So they decided, yeah, we're gonna cut back a little bit on his defenses, lower HP and all of that. So this guy right now dies a little bit easier than you'd expect. And it's a little bit scary because this guy is still in boost, you guys. So it makes you wonder how this guy will be after boost. Will he be a good unit that is gonna be worth my resources and my crystals? Because crystals are very important. And keep in mind, you guys, Three months. Three months is the anniversary, actually. Three and a half months. And we have the anniversary. Fifth year. So, is it a wise decision to pull for this guy right now? And I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on that. It's a similar case as Trunks and Vegeta, if you guys remember. In this case, you guys, I do feel like Master Rossi might be eclipsing UI Goku. The, the Mafuba that Master Rossi has is the single most broken mechanic that we have ever experienced in this game's lifespan. So, if you land it, your opponent is actually playing a 2v3 for the rest of the game unless they kill Master Rossi or they're down to their last unit that got mafuba So, yeah, you guys, I do feel like um, Master Rossi, just like Zamasu did before him, is an exceptional 1% sparking unit. And if you guys decide to pull on this banner, I would suggest getting a copy of Master Rossi. He is absolutely insane, and you guys wouldn't want to miss on such a valuable unit. That's gonna be future proof, I'm pretty sure. So, the thing is with uh, Revival Goku here is that his kit is a little bit one dimensional. You do want from kids nowadays to be flexible, have a lot of utility. This guy just has damage and cover now. He doesn't really offer that much. I want to see a lot more stuff in his uh, revive state at least. I feel like his pre-revive state is actually more interesting, but uh, he doesn't have a lot of stuff that will help him even tank. Even make him, you know, kind of sign in his own way. We've seen, like, with units like Ultra Godzilla Blue, 
his trademark being the unique gates, dealing so much freaking damage, man, like spawning blue cards out of thin air. This guy doesn't really have that, and this is why I am skeptical about this unit. And given the fact that he doesn't have the greatest defenses, I just cannot see this guy aging well in a meta where every unit right now can just pop you with a single blue card. It's kinda it's kinda in a scary meta. And this guy being a glass cannon, you guys, I just cannot see him being viable in the future and obviously outside of boost man um it's really unfortunate i do believe so but uh it is what it is at this point his kit is not bad by any means if you do guys decide to summon for this guy he's not a bad unit but i don't think his value will remain there um for an extended period of time for sure i feel like uh he's gonna age like the other ui gokos i don't know why they always go this route with uh, ui gokos making them really squishy and vulnerable to attacks yes this guy has revival has unique gates but if you're gonna die in one card what is the point man like uh you do kind of need some extra stuff to survive right now all of this really powerful units and yeah you guys i personally cannot recommend you to summon on the banner just for goku if you want to summon on the banner just go for us instead you will get a much more value out of your crystals instead of going for this uh, goku right here um i think like he's a fun unit but obviously He's not as great as people expect him to be. And he has... Uh, his art is crazy, you know all of that stuff. I do feel like uh, he's a fun unit, but... Uh, he's not quite built for this meta, guys. And um, I just cannot see him aging that well overall. But yeah, um, as I said, if you can, please avoid his banner or just go for the master Rossi that's gonna age extremely well instead and you will be good to go you guys i do feel like um master Rossi and the mafuba master Rossi, ultra godzilla blue n17 probably make the best team right now in the game and it's scary it's scary <laughs> quite a lot actually master Rossi just makes things uh way scarier than I thought they would be, for sure, and um, yeah, this Goku has a lot of flaws, man, unfortunately he has flaws, he's not the perfect unit, I don't know why they, they decide to <laughs> kinda uh, soft UI Goku, you know I love my UI Goku, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit unfortunate for sure, you know, I... I don't know what's happening here, but uh, I am gonna wait and put this guy on a banner that he's gonna return, obviously, on anniversary, even later than that, saving my chronos right now, as you can see, I have um, 34,000, 34,000 CCs for now, yeah, and uh, I will keep saving you guys for now, not uh, really particularly interested in what Legends has to offer right now in terms of banners, and uh, like we, we, we get 100% sparkings every every five months, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, I have a lot of time to think about this for sure. Yeah, you guys, that is gonna be my thoughts on uh, UI Goku here. Tell me what you think down below about the unit. Do you think he's good? Did you pull for him? Are you satisfied with him? Are you disappointed with him? Let me know down below. And uh, yeah, I will see you all. On the next one, you guys, please take care and peace, man.